Hello and welcome to Crime Time, my name is Ryan Price and in today's episode we'll be looking at the topic of criminal damage and what it does to your area. In the Shellfield, Palsall and Russell area, how many cases of criminal damage do you deal with in a day? I would say it varies. Um, it does depend on the day. Um, obviously it might be a bit different at weekends compared to weekdays. Um, but I'd say typically it would be one a day criminal damage. Um, once again, it may, may or may not be there. It may be one every other day. Uh, and it all depends on um, who's out at the time, um, whether there's any police out at the time. If there's police activity, it may um, result in um, less people on the streets, um, therefore less damage. Could you describe a typical type of criminal damage? Um, criminal damage to a fence, a wall, uh, possibly a residence front wall or a back fence leading to their garden. Um, if they've had groups of youths hanging around um, at the rear of their property on an evening, um, it may result in some kind of damage, however that's stereotyping youths. What is the typical age range that usually does criminal damage? The perception is, oh, it's youths, it's young people, uh, but that may not always be the case. Once again, it depends on uh, what the situation is at the time. Um, but most cases that I deal with, it would be young people. Uh, who have caused the criminal damage. How are you trying to reduce criminal damage within the local area and how has it helped so far? By putting out police patrols. Um, if there's criminal damage the previous evening and we as a neighbourhood team aren't on duty, the next day we will come in, we will pick up those logs uh, and we will do police patrols in that area to, to target individuals who may be out and about. We also work with partner agencies, uh, the council, the, the antisocial behaviour unit, um, housing associations, we attend meetings to come together uh, and see what we can do to resolve the issues in the community. Uh, for example, this may include um, erecting a dome hall camera. So we have heard from a local police officer who gave us his views on the criminal damage. I found out that there is usually only one incident a day in the Shellfield, Pelsall and Russell area, which is a lot less than I thought. Also. I found out that the local police do a range of different things to reduce the problems. Working with partner agencies like the council and attending meetings to see what they can do to resolve the issues in the local area. I wanted to explore this issue because around my local area there is a lot of criminal damage. This makes the area look bad. Also youths, including me, get portrayed as troublemakers. Talking to the police I have found out that they are doing everything in their power to reduce criminal damage.